ZBrush 4 includes several new options for working with alpha textures in sculpting brushes. For example, ZBrush now supports non-square alphas, so for instance this alpha texture I've created is 800 pixels by 300 pixels. And you can see this is what the alpha looks like when I draw it on the surface of the armor. So I'm switching to the freehand stroke, and you can see as I drag along the surface, this is the standard behavior for the way an alpha is applied to a brush using the freehand stroke style. But there's a new feature available in the brush palette, and this is found in the orientation subpalette. The orientation settings cause the alpha to be spun around its axis as you draw on the surface. So in this case, you can see I'm drawing on the surface, and now the alpha is spinning around, which uh, lets you create very elaborate designs very easily. I'm going to go into the tablet pressure subpalette and adjust the size curve so that now my brush is much more sensitive to the pressure I apply to my tablet. So as I stroke along the surface lightly, the brush stroke is very small and as I increase the pressure it becomes larger again. So within a few seconds I'm able to create an extremely elaborate design on the surface of the armor by combining the tablet pressure settings and the orientation settings. And this is just a single alpha texture that I'm using on one brush. And within a few seconds, I'm able to create a very nice design. I'll do a best preview render so we can see what this looks like. Not bad for a few seconds worth of work. There are several deco brushes in the brush library and these are brushes that already have the orientation uh, settings adjusted and alpha textures applied. So you can experiment with these brushes to get an idea of how the orientation settings work. I'm going to switch to deco 4 and paint on the surface. 